But we're here at Connor, uh, the home of the Viper. I still get chills when I get here. It's pretty cool to see the, the bits and pieces and all the colorful uh, lifesaver-like uh, you know, hoods and, and whatnot. So it's really cool. Everyone's energized to get uh, going building Vipers again. Um, I'm the plant manager at Connor Avenue. We build the Dodge Viper here. This, this vehicle's been built here since 1995. It is handcrafted. There's a little, about 100 people that work in this facility. We build the vehicle from engine up. We actually have an engine assembly plant in this building. We build it from block up and then the vehicle from frame up and build it through chassis. We put our panels on, handcrafted. Everything is glued and fastened together and it ends up being a very beautiful car at the end of the line. And it's kind of amazing to actually see it happen. So. I had the pleasure of driving this very car at Texas uh, Motor Speedway, and it is incredible. And I have one myself, and the difference between ACRX is it's a lot stiffer, uh, it's a lot lighter, uh, so its reflexes are really quick. The whole chassis comes together and makes for an incredible, incredible driving machine. We're only going to build 25 because we're actually squeezing this in before the normal 2010 production run, uh, which makes the car even more exclusive. And I think uh, most people, I hope they race them. We actually created a series just for the racing, but I think a lot of people actually collect them and. Uh, Prize them as, uh, as probably one of the coolest Vipers ever made. We were given the opportunity to build the X here, and basically for us, it's a few different parts. We've been, we're building the car the same, and on the final line, we're deleting a lot of things because for race cars, as you know, they don't want the weight, so a lot of the car's not in, a lot of the interior is not there. On the engine line, it was different pistons, different belts, a couple different things there, and then we're putting the uh, American race headers on the vehicle. So we actually put the headers in and then stuff the uh, engine to the car. Well, I want to thank uh, the Viper Club of America. They really stepped up and they helped us market this vehicle. As soon as we announced the car, our usual suspect put their hands up and they're pretty much all sold out, all 25. Uh, we're going to keep a few internally for special events and to uh, maybe get some celebrity guest drivers at the Viper Cup. There is opportunity to build another 25 if there's demand, so we're going to wait and see. Uh, but right now, these are probably the only ones that will be in existence.